How are you guys doing today? Good? Perfect. So, all right. So, the last time we went into uh, chapter 20, uh, we talked about the carboxylic group uh, compounds and nitric compounds and so forth. We talked about the mainly about the characteristic. Uh, let's talk about how we can make those ones uh, in actual chemical reaction today. So, uh, we're going to make some carboxylic acid here. How are we gonna make it? So surprisingly, this is what we already have done. Uh, so we have a, okay. Okay. we have a piston permanganate. So yeah. So maybe, uh, can you guys try this one real quick? Okay. About one or two minutes. This is what we already done. Uh, if you remember the exam problem on exam two, you I think you get it. Okay. So this is the uh, one way we can make the carboxylic uh, compounds. Okay. <clears throat> okay, one over two minutes. Just a quick review from the previous chapter. <clears throat> So this is what we already did. <clears throat> All right, so uh, here's the thing. If you have a calcium permanganate, which is a very good oxidizing agent, right? So you just need to find the, your benzylic position, which is the carbon right next to your benzene wing. Okay? And then you just need to add one. Carboxylic group there. So we, this is the carbon. We had a benzene position. Uh, yeah. You can actually remember this one, right? So benzene position with a really good oxidizing agent. You can have a very uh, well oxidized carbon, which is a carboxylic acid compound. Okay. Okay. So this is the quick review. Okay. <clears throat> Just do one more. Uh, but this is also what we did before. Um, okay. well, now we're gonna treat it with the uh, chromium trioxide. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay. So this is the also what we did before. Uh, you can also make a carboxylic uh, compound as well. <clears throat> This might be also a good review for the final exam, right? <clears throat> this is also a very good uh, way to oxidize the compound. Okay, so yeah, here's the thing. So you see uh, this carbon is very well oxidized with the hydrox group, which is a primary alcohol. Uh, when you treat it even with the uh, chromium trioxide, uh, you can make it even further oxidized. So we actually make also um, the, the carboxylic groups too. Okay. Because this will be further oxidized by this carbon group. Okay. Right. Do you guys actually remember this one? Okay. All right, so the uh, this last one, this is also what we did before. So very similar, very similar. Are they high? <clears throat> oh. So same, right? So you have this one, primary aldehyde, and you just need to 
this project also dies. Just uh, adding Hajax group there. Uh, so this is also become your uh, Kabuk Silicon compound. So this is what we did. Okay, so we went over the ketone and the aldehyde. Uh, we can also make it Kabuk group from there. Uh, just for the oxidization. All right. So the how about the other how about the ways to do it? Okay. So you have. Uh, The PFS looks like something like this one. Uh, you can treat it with the uh, sodium cyanide. Okay. Sodium cyanide. Okay, so what if you, if you do this one, you're going to have uh, those ions, right? Because it's the salt form. And then if you look at this one over here, uh, this is where you have a carbon that is somewhat electron density poor. Because uh, this is the what? Halogen group right there. So halogen group is more electronegative. So for this electric density wise, this would be, uh, carbon will be very poor in electric density. So this is why, this is also what we did slightly before it. We're gonna have uh, this one and we'll leave, okay? So if you treat it with the sodium cyanide, this, the halogen group will leave, right? And you get this one. I'm gonna have this, okay? And then uh, what you can do is you can treat with a very strong base. Sodium hydroxide and a little bit of water. Okay. And then later, later you can, can treat it with the, uh, some acidic condition. Okay. So then uh, eventually what happened to this one uh, is you're gonna have a carbon screw. So this is the the drop molecule. You know this one, right? As ibuprofen. You, yeah. Okay. So um, we're gonna talk about this one anyway soon, but uh, I'll show you this real quick. Okay. So what happens to this one is the you have a very strong base, which is uh, your have this one, right? The large hydroxide anion. So what gets to here, right? Then it makes this one, and it goes to here because it pushes it. Okay. So this is now double bond. It's uh, now negatively charged. Okay. So you grab the protons from the water. Okay. So they can become uh, neutral. Okay. And then this is for the get down to here, because this oxygen can be down to here, but this will be by water. Okay. Get to here, and this pushes another one. So it's got there. So this will be negative charge again. I'll pick up the high protons from the water, and this becomes two, and this. Okay. And this is still base, you have a still a lot of uh, OH minus goes to here, okay? And now this is a carbonic group. It pushes there to the negative charge. So it'll be single bond, but it pushes down again to become neutral and double bond again and push this one away. So this will become, <clears throat> this will become NH2 minus will leave. With the, this, the hydrox group attached to here because the hydrox are anion. And this is a negative charge, so this will grab this hydrogen, so we call ammonia, and then this will become a negative charge. So this is a carboxylate ion that we learned last time. Okay, and then this one will be later treated with the acidic condition. So the proton from the uh, hydrogen cation will be catched by this one, uh, like this. Okay. So this is what happened. Uh, it doesn't even say on the textbook, so you don't have to know, but uh, just, you know, this will actually be discussed anyway, so that's why I just did it. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah. All right, so the, uh, the simple trick is just the way you had a halogen group, we moved to the what? 
nitrogen group, you know, cyanide groups. And then the carbon in the nitrogen triple bond will be replaced by two hydroxide with the double and single with a negative charge because it's carboxyl um, and, uh, uh, anion. And it will be uh, protonated because it's acidic condition. Because there will be a lot of numbers of protons there. So that makes the uh, carboxylic groups from the carboxylate ion. <clears throat> kind of makes sense. Okay, I'll just move on. Okay. So the the next part. Oh, this is uh, actually. Uh, so you have uh, this one over here. Okay, and then you can treat with some uh, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Okay. So what happens to this one is the as you know, in here, this is a metal, right? This is a metal. This is the R group, which is mainly carbon here. So this is carbon. Okay, this is carbon right there, right? And then what it does is the pair of electrons actually goes to the carbon, okay, which is very electron poor by these two strong bond to the oxygen, which is very electron negative. So and this will live as a, this positive because it's a metal. Uh, metal can compete with the carbon because it's very low in electronegativity. They can, they can have a much precession from the, the electron that we that had in the metal, organic metallic bond there. So when they do that, it goes to the here and goes there. So one of the pair has to go there. So because it pushes the electron density. So that makes this one, and the other one will be negative charge, because one will have a have electron on the one of the oxygen. So it become carboxylate anion with the mechanism for my cation over here. So they were kind of uh, doing ion interactions, this plus and uh, positive. And then you can treat it with the some acidic conditions again. And you'll see a lot of uh, protons coming out from the hydrogen cation. So this one will pick up, and then they're now paired with the uh, protons, and then they get the pick up this one. Uh, so the this, oh, you can just stop it. But so it, and then it can be protonated, uh, but it depends on the conditions anyway. So if it's acidic condition at the end, they can be still as a, a carboxylic group. If it's not as the base condition. It can just stay as a carboxylic anion because there'll be one much of uh, protons uh, were already uh, picked up by the, a lot of hydroxyl anion basic okay? So uh, let's do a practice. Okay, does it make sense? So let's do a practice over here. So how about can you guys try this one real quick? Okay, and then we're gonna try it with the same. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, I think that's yeah, that's the one. Okay, can you guys try this? about one minute. Okay, so yeah, here's the thing. Uh, if you have uh, this one, it will be gone. And this is where you have the, the one. So it goes in there. So meaning you're going to have this one. Okay, and then later you can treat with the acidic condition, you can have a carboxylic. So this is the uh,
Does it make sense? Can I move on? All right. All right. So we we talked about the uh, how you make how you can make some carboxylic compounds. Uh, uh, then we can also talk about how you can make some like a natural compounds too. So uh, if you have uh, this one. My compounds over here with the carbonyl group and an amine group, and then you can treat it with some uh, thionic chloride with some like a benzene solvent with some uh, high temperature. Okay, so if you do this one here, uh, what you can do is uh, you're actually going to see. Um, uh, okay, so once again, I'm just going to explain once. Uh, but uh, just focus on the final products, okay? So the you, this is what it looks like, and because of this, uh, with the halogens, right, oxygen in the center, this is very electron poor right now, right? So this is where you have electron reach, so it goes to there. Okay? So that makes the push on the one of the chlorine, because this is too strong to be broken here. So this is one of our lead belief, okay? So when it's do that, uh, this is one of the lone pair and the nitrogen uh, will go, okay, just I'll put it in. So when it would do that, it makes uh, over here, okay? And then there will be uh, some, some base over there, okay? Will be picked up by one 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 hundred and okay. Then those the pair of electron were going to here. So that part charge will be cancelled at this one. Okay. And then another base comes in and pick up now uh, one more. Okay. So then this will goes to here. Okay. And then this will lead to there. So that makes the this one and this one. Uh, that means uh, this carbon will ending on having triple bond to the nitrogen or previous in amine groups. This will sleep as a uh, SO2. Okay. So in this way, you can actually make some uh, nitrogen group over there from the amine. We treat it with the thionic chloride in some organic uh, condition with some base, so it can pick up the protons from the amine groups. That will be eventually back to the uh, triple bond to the carbon where they're leaving. There's the the oxygen with this the better leaving group, which were formed from your thionic chloride. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do practice. Okay, let's do practice. Let's do. Okay, so if you have uh... oh, sorry. Oh, oh, that was why I was okay. sorry. I, it should have been uh, not too. That's why they had a long pair. Um, oh, that makes sense. Sorry. Yes, this, that's why they had a long pair, not three. This should have been a long pair. I'll explain again. Sorry. Because I, I wrote it wrong. <clears throat> but the, the trick is the same. So when this, the base pick up each protons, so it goes to there and there. By they attach to this one, there goes one and two. So eventually they detach from there. See, the base pick up one by one. It goes two, three. Then they will be separate from the base. So this will be this one. Okay, about one minute. Yeah. about 30 seconds. <clears throat>
Okay, so yeah, so I'll here's the trick. Okay, so the two mains will pick up those two, and this will go eventually. So what you can do is you can try to remove the carbon groups, hydrogen, and just the triple one. That's the trick. Okay. Make sense, right? So I think I can just move. Can I move on? Okay. All right. So the uh, uh, basically there's a lot of uh, type of uh, chemical reaction you can do with just the uh, nitro group uh, compounds, cyanide compound. Uh, is, so we have a R, which is your any carbon base, onto the cyanide group, nitro group over here, which is carbon with the nitrogen has the triple bond over here. Uh, the com this is a very common form of the reaction. So you have a so nucleus, nucleophile. Uh, you have a nucleophile with a normally the ne a negative charge, normally a ne sometimes neutral. But if you look at this one over here, uh, nitrogen is very electronegative elements, uh, and this is just the R group over here, and the bond is very strong. It's a triple bond here. So this carbon will become very electron poor, density poor. So whenever you have a subnuclear file with the, they reach in the electron density, they try to tap the carbon, not the nitrogen, okay? So when it does that, which is the, what? You have electron density is donating to this electron poor carbon that makes the push to the one of the, this one goes to there become negative. So the very common form of the, when you treat the nitrogen compound with the nuclear file, uh, nuclear file attack, you're gonna see this one uh, uh, this is the basic uh, form you're going to see uh, most of the time. <clears throat> okay, so this is the kind of uh, basic uh, formation. So let's do. One. Okay. So if you have some compounds. Uh, let's just treat it with a very strong base. Okay. Okay. So if you have a very strong uh, base, uh, once again you have a OH minus, a lot of OH minus. So which is your what? Nuclear file. I just told you. Right. So then this will attack to here. Okay. So then uh, that becomes. So then, right here, right? And then that makes a push over there. Okay. So then, that makes a negative charge, right? Okay. So when it's negative charge, they'll grab a, a hydrogen from the water. Okay. So what it does is they come uh, this way. Okay. And then, uh, this is the. I have for you guys remember from over one. Do you guys remember like an enol keto tautomerism? This is goes to very similar to this one, but what it simply means is uh, this is not so stable because the carbon with the double with the nitrogen, but the only hydrox group, they prefer to have a carbon group instead. Uh, so instead of this one, they wants to have this one. It goes to here, so they become uh, a minus. The, so this is uh, very similar to what we learned in OGO1, uh, the tautomerism reaction that goes to the uh, main group. Okay. All right, so the, the next is uh, also the pretty simple. When you try to put it in the, another sodium hydroxide and water, uh, they also try to attack here, because which is also very C. This carbon here is very electron poor because of the oxygen, but this is a very strong bond, very poor, with the main groups there too. So this is a very good target for the nucleophile again, which is a uh, uh, hydrogen anion. So it goes to here, uh, then see this one here. Then that makes a push on here. Okay, so they become the single bond now, a negative charge. And the lone pair goes down again, so it's gone, single bond again, and that makes it leave. So this will leave as a negative charge because the electric push to the nitrogen. And then uh, then this will pick up what? This will pick up one of the hydrogen. So 
they become carboxylate, deprotonated carboxylic groups with the ammonia. And they stay there because it's what? It's basic condition right there. So they don't have a protein to pick up to the uh, carboxyl group yet. Okay, so this is what happens. <clears throat> Does it make sense? Because uh, uh, if you remember the basic like formation, like how the nuclear file is going to attack the carbons in the nitro groups, uh, and in a row, they have a sequential uh, movement of the electron density that makes the initially an amide, but also uh, finally at the carboxylate, carboxylate ion. And so if we treat this one with the exit condition again, this will become carboxylic uh, compounds. Okay? Because this will be protonate, this oxygen. <clears throat> okay, let's do practice. <clears throat> okay, so maybe Maybe can you guys try this one real quick? Maybe two minutes, because it takes quite of a yeah thing going on, but <clears throat> <coughs> Okay, about one minute. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Here's this this one, and the trick is this one. So the trick is this is a uh, nitrogen, right? So we remove it and put the carboxylate over there, and just the uh, ammonia. Okay, so this will be. Make sense, right? You wanna do one more, or can I move on? Can I move on? Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's a simple trick, right? Uh, so try to remove the nitrogen uh, triple bond to the carbon and put the carbonic groups, ether kind of group or uh, minus, and then mix the carboxylate and with the mold. <coughs> That's the uh, trick. All right, so the, the next one uh, you can try R. Same. We're gonna treat with the same thing over here, and then this time we're gonna treat with the lithium aluminum hydride, and uh, it should be initially in the ether, uh, but later can treat with the uh, water too. Okay. So in this case, uh, this is pretty much the same. Um, this is uh, what we actually learned before, right? This is the lithium uh, will be cation. This will be aluminum hydride what? anion. So. This is a very famous, uh, famous compounds to uh, give the hydride seat, okay. hydride donation. So hydride will be added on where? Do you think? Hydride will be added on here, right? Obviously, this is very full in the electron density. So this will be gone here once and twice. Uh, so then, when it goes down one over here, this will be pushed to nitrogen. So that makes negative charge, and it will pair with the, the rest, this one. Because when it donates the hydride, it becomes aluminum hydrogen three, okay? Because the hydrogen is gone to here. And then they do it once more, okay? And then that goes to another one pair there, so that makes negative two. And it pair with that, another aluminum hydride. So obviously, this is very negative charge, but this will be picked up the protons from the water twice. This is a negative charge by detaching these two in a row. So this will become I mean group. Okay. So the trick is the way you have that <clears throat> the nitro groups uh, you become that carbon will ending up having just the I mean groups. That's the that's the trick. Okay. 
So, um, okay, let's do a practice. Okay. So, if you have, okay, let me try this one real quick. <clears throat> okay, if you just remember the trick, uh, it will be very easy. Okay. Uh, you, uh, okay. <clears throat> Here about 30 seconds. <clears throat> okay, so the yeah, the trick is pretty simple, right? So uh, you can try to do that's so you have uh, edit there. I mean, you don't have to show the hydrogen, right? So, if you redraw this one again. Yes. <clears throat> Makes sense, right? Can you do one more? Okay, just do one more and move on. So, let's try to do... One minute. Okay, thirty seconds. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, so you, you just need to do this one, right? And now this is a single bond, so you can have this. Okay, so. Makes sense, right? Okay. All right, so let's do the another one. Uh, let's do, okay. So let's do, uh, so if you have uh, this one, uh, you can treat it with the uh, green R reagent okay and it looks more okay so if you do this one uh, let's try this is r prime so distinguish from this original one so this will become r oh sorry uh, this one, okay so this will become ketone okay so this is uh, uh, the basic uh, rule okay so we have uh, r prime here uh, this will become uh, the ketone when it has the the cyanide group, nitro group, or okay. So, uh, let's try to do something, you know. Okay. So, uh, what it happens to here is the, this, this will become, this R group will be, uh, this is a metal, right? This is a halogen metal. So this will become uh, this. This will obviously goes to where? Here, right? Because as you know, because it's electron poor. So this will be uh, this one. So that makes this one what? Negative charge. Because this will have electron on the triple bond will go to this one making this one double one, right? So negative charge. And they pick up the what? They pick up the uh, one of the protons in the water. So they become uh, here. So it's a it's a pr pretty much the same that the Whenever, uh, do you know what we did for the imine formation? Like primary, primary amine goes there. It, it just, so when you treat it with water, it's totally opposite thing happens. So they, water goes in. Okay. 
And the proton will be picked up by one by one, and it goes to one by one. It's very similar to what we did previous chapter, but it's different from the oxygen and nitrogen. <laughs> Do you guys remember this? We did it with the carbonic groups. When we tried to do the methylamine, okay? You guys remember this? Like a imine formation? You guys remember this one, right? Uh, it's the opposite. You just change the oxygen to nitrogen. So the water goes in, and then the, this, the main group will, uh, I mean, not amine group yet, but the, they eventually leave as uh, ammonia, and this will form, the losing by these two protons forming the carbonic groups there. Like it did a uh, imine, like one, the, Methylamine formation there. Okay, so that's why you have a ketone right here. Does it make sense? The <clears throat> so the trick is so yeah. Let's try to do problem. I'll show you. So if you have a uh, this one here, right? Okay. And then you have uh, maybe active magnesium bromide here. Okay. So you, what you need to do is put this in this carbonate here, okay. right there, and then remove the nitrogen and put the oxygen with the double bond. So making carbonic group will be from ketone. That's the trick. Okay. <clears throat> Very similar to the what we did in the pre previous chapter. Uh, but we're just switching the oxygen and nitrogen. Uh, but it works the same way, uh, similar way. Yes. So uh, that's the purpose. Okay. So uh, can you guys try this one real quick? This one, okay. Maybe you can try this one real quick. <clears throat> Okay, about one minute. <clears throat> okay, so here, right? Just copy the same thing. Copy the rest. And just did this. And this is the way you had a carbon with the nitrogen bond, right? And this is the carbon you had that ethyl group added there. Okay, and just put. Makes sense, right? Okay. That's it for today. Do you want to do one more or can I finish here? Just one more, yeah. Just do one more. Yeah. No, let's do one more. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, let's do this one, okay? This time. Um, okay, this one. Okay. <clears throat> So, yeah, I'm just gonna copy this one real quick. So I'm gonna copy the, because this reaction will actually happen on their cyanide group anyway. So I'm just copy this one over here. And the nitrogen, I'm just gonna remove it, but I'm just gonna add this propyl groups right there. One, two, three, okay, propyl group right here is added on this side, and this side comes. That's it. <clears throat> so you remove the nitrogen with the triple bond, and put the R groups on your green R reagents, which is on the this carbon, and just put the oxygen with the double bond makes a carbonic group, and which both R makes key. Okay, so just uh, I'll finish here today.